Here we go. That's it. Fight. The shark instinctively dives, trying to rid itself of the hooks. Oh, oh. Watch it. Okay, let it go down. Let it go down. Let it go down. Okay, it's, it's hooked. I need, set, yeah, I need yeah. swimming on the surface yeah. with the buoy. Yeah. I need the boat to be moving. With the great white on the line, the team is committed. There's no choice but to get this shark to the cradle to remove the hooks and attach the tag. Don't worry, don't worry. This shark is at least 17 feet long and weighs over one ton. By far, the largest great white ever hooked for satellite tagging. On the count of two, one, two, now. Oh. All right. Give me select. Stefan needs to keep the shark on the surface to hand it over to the research vessel. But to avoid injuring the creature, he has to let out line when the shark pulls on the hooks. OK, keep going straight ahead, dead ahead. After a 20-minute tug of war, the shark tires and rises to the surface. Let's move to the cradle. Two boats line up to transfer the shark. Stand by to throw the rope. But they have to keep tension on the rope. The shark can still get tangled or caught in the propeller. Go. This is the most critical and dangerous part of the procedure. But the team must pull the shark on board in order to cut the hooks and apply the tag. None of them has ever hauled a two to 3,000 pound fish out of the ocean before. Move it, move them up. Finally, the shark's head rises out of the water. They must move quickly to land the creature and insert a hose with life-giving seawater. With the shark halfway on the cradle, there's no turning back. To calm her down, they cover the eyes with a towel. This great white is so big, it won't fit on the 15-foot cradle. With no time to spare, the team jumps onto the shark and inserts the water jet into its mouth. Seeing water gush through the gills means oxygen is entering her body. The shark is out of its element, but it's breathing. Veterinarian Barb Mangold gives the great white anti-inflammatories and antibiotics to quickly recover from any trauma. I'm giving injections. I'm giving anti-inflammatories, prednisone, for anti-stress. Ramon and the team have never had a shark in the cradle more than 12 minutes. But with a shark this size, everything's taking longer than expected. Ramon prepares the satellite tag. He's placed over a dozen of these devices on great whites. He says none have ever flinched or shown any sign of pain during the insertion. If all goes well, this tag will transmit data for at least a year before falling off. We need to get her out of the cradle as soon as we can. It's now been 17 minutes, longer than any great white has ever been in the cradle. And the shark is ready to go. But even this giant predator needs a helping hand to escape. The great white senses she's free. But as she swims into the darkness, she's no longer just a great white. She's now an ambassador for her species. Well done, team. Well done. Within days, the satellite data starts coming in. 
The shark, now nicknamed Claudia, is transmitting beautifully, swimming all around Guadalupe Island. In a few months, she'll leave these waters for parts unknown. And scientists hope she'll reveal the true power and endurance of these long-distance travelers.